This is Dr. Chris from... And Dr. Zand. ...from Operation Ouch. And we're here with coronavirus question time, question 672. Chris, I heard this is created by the Chinese government. Is that true? No. Was it created by the American government? No. What about the British government? No, it definitely wasn't. I also heard it was created by a mad scientist, a virologist who... Wait a minute. Chris is looking nervous. You're a virologist. Did you create the coronavirus, Chris? No, Zan. I am a virologist and I work in a virus lab, but I did not create this virus. And in fact, no scientist created this virus. We know that this virus was transmitted to human beings from bats. Bats. Now, we don't know which bat exactly. We're still trying to match up the genetic code of the virus that's in humans and the virus that's in bats, but we're pretty sure it came from bats and it may have gone through another animal first. How did it get into people from the bats? Well, that's one of the things we're not entirely sure about, but we think we know it came from a food market in China. And one of the problems with the way that we eat animals all over the world, whether they're wild animals or whether we're farming them, and it's important to understand this could have happened anywhere, is that when we crowd animals together in, in cruel farms, or when we eat wild animals and we destroy ecosystems, that gives viruses like this a chance That's to jump right. from animals to people. So as a species, we all have a responsibility about this. And, and this virus is another sign that we should be looking after our planet because this has happened before, it's happening at the moment, and it could happen again with other viruses. Well, that is a lovely answer, Chris, and I am glad that my brother is not a mad scientist. Good. So if there's one thing we can learn, is that we should be looking after the planet. Bye! <laughs>